What's good, Foundation Nation? Today we're doing hyzers only at New London. Let's get into it. It's all or nothing. Welcome to Foundation Disc Golf. Today we're gonna to play Heiser's Only Disc Golf. Let's get into it. What's good, Foundation Nation today? <laughs> All right, we're out here on back nine in New London. The scoring nine, and we decided we're gonna do Heiser's Only from the long tees. Um, their That's discs, it. discs are allowed to flip and such. Once you're inside the circle, you can putt however you want. Circle two putts, though, do have to release on Heiser. Everything else, though, Heiser. You can go Heiser forehand, Heiser backhand. Every shot has to come out of your hand on some form of Heiser. The disc can flip after that if you, if you know, you choose that, but for me, it's basically a normal round of disc golf. If you watch this channel, <laughs> I can't throw anything but hyzer. Okay, take you it back. Take it back. Circle take one back. Has to be I feel like the only way to be able to tell for sure that you're throwing on hyzer, I think it's got to be a considerable hyzer angle. Yeah. yeah. Like it no, can't no just be. No baby like, hyzers. No, like slight hyzers. Yeah, no baby hyzers. Hold 10, 439 foot par three. No baby hyzers. No baby hyzers. Circle's edge. No skid. Heiser! Okay, Heiser <laughs> jump putts are terrifying. Yeah. I, was, I didn't know what to do there. I don't, I feel like I normally jump putt. Okay, I get, this is just for science. No, yeah, I got you. Like, I came out pretty flat, eh? I think our normal putt. Bring an A back, eh? My normal putt is pretty heisery, but I'm gonna make sure that I get this moving right to left. That is, it's difficult to get the disc to glide. That was Ooh, a really clean putt. looking putt. Good putt. That was scary. Yeah, it's it's nerve wracking because like putting is already difficult. All right, hole 11, 585 foot par four. Pretty much a placement shot on Heiser. The second shot on Heiser is going to be difficult uh, through the tunnel and then a Heiser putt. Oh, that's kind of good, Hunter. That's that, really good. Is that too left or is that? I, I, it's hard to know. Going with a lot of Heiser with my flippy rock here. Just trying to get this to pop up and kind of fall left. That disc usually has a little more incentive to flip. I didn't throw it very well. Did it settle where I wanted it to? I guess if I'm on either side, it's either this or this, but that's Both are hyzers. Both are hyzers. Nope. I didn't flip. Bye bye. I don't think I've ever seen anybody over there. This is gonna be kind of touchy. I think what I'm gonna do is take my flippiest disc, my diamond, and put it just crazy amounts of hyzer and just try and push it through the gap as much as I can. If I can get a putt, like that would be great. That is so good. That might be really far though. That's really far. Okay. Good putt, Trevor. Good, really good putt. You've gotten way better at those. Thank you, dude. That was a good looking hyzer putt, though. Maybe you're going to find yourself today. No. You're going to find out that you're like an extreme hyzer putter. Hole 12, par 3, 343 feet. This is going to be tricky. I hadn't even considered this because now, typically, the best way for me to force over to this right gap is to do it throwing it flat. I don't like to try and throw that on hyzer. I mean, if I try to throw it through there on hyzer, I'm surely hitting this tree. I always throw through there on hyzer. You always throw on hyzer, though. I'm Trevor, gonna... if you try to throw through the right gap on hyzer, you're going to throw through the left gap. No. Hey, I told you. <laughs> I can't. The only way for me to get myself to force a disc over is to throw it flat or with anhyzer. I can't do it on hyzer. That's so good. That is what you do. Is that far enough? Go in. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, but. how far left did it get? Go a little bit. A little short, not bad. Oh boy. Okay. That was all I had. Can't blame him for that. Alright, these are the nervy ones. They're just weird, awkward hyzer plugs. Alright. Typically the way I would have ran that or like laid up is a forehand ante. Yeah. Can't do that, can I? Can't do it. Hole 13, par 4, 499 feet. This one's not crazy for this tee shot to have thrown hyzer. It'll get interesting once we get in there. Just trying to get in that initial gap. I'm going to go with my stalker and throw it with a lot of hyzer. And if I throw it well, it'll probably flip all the way up and over and into the right gap. Maybe it won't flip and it'll go into the left gap. I'm really fine. It didn't flip, but... That's pretty great. It pushed a lot. I think it's in the middle. So if I have to scramble, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to go X-Cal and go Heiser Ooh. to try to get far oh, left. Just crush it to left. Yeah. That's what I'm going to try. Yeah, big skip. That'll be interesting. That was, uh, oh, oh, it rolled back out, though. I'm going to do a forehand Heiser from there, though. Yeah. Start on Heiser, can't confirm. Oh. Good kick? No. I mean, not a bad kick. It just... Had a chance to be parked and now it's going to be a jumper. So this is where I might have to get used the cheat code diamond disc. Because like, if I'm throwing an actual true hyzer, I have to go here and like, not really a great way to get to the basket. Where I want to go is straight. But I think if I throw the diamond with hyzer hard enough, I can get it to flip all the way up and go flat and maybe even turn left. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Cool. It turned a little bit at the end. Hit that tree. Okay. I actually ended up hitting the right gap. It didn't turn as quick as I thought it would, but it's a jump putt. Oh. Hey. Oh. It is so hard to play the glide right when your disc is just already on a dump hyzer angle. Dang. 14. Par three, 387 feet. We're going out this gap, down the hill, got to kind of pan right and then just kind of drop. It's an elevated basket down there, it's tough. I normally would throw a flat shot to get it to turn. I'm not very good at this hole anyway, so it might be good for a new strategy, I guess. I'm going with the diamond again, we're old faithful. I'm gonna give it a ton of hyzer, and I don't, this, on a backhand, if I really give this some juice, it might just get down and roll. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I pulled it through there. That's not good. That's a new spot. I pulled it through like the right side, like away from the gap, and then it just dumped over. I needed to get that like low and pushing left to start. I'm way right. That'll be <laughs> interesting. That's new territory for any of us. I've only got one option right now for this well, that's shot. A good option. I gotta go with my uplink. I don't think it's gonna have near enough distance, but it should have the right flight. I just didn't get this with an M4. Yeah, but this is an M4. Oh, dang shots. Slipped a little and just came out early. Oh, you got kidding me. Like I said, it's not your day, it's not your day. Hasn't been my month. Dave, hey, not even be my year. I just don't think I should say anything or he might snap at me. That's not like you. I feel the need like I know I only have to throw it on a little bit of hyzer but I have the need to just throw everything on a spike hyzer with these putts. Hole 15, par 4, 667. This one we're trying to get out this initial gap and then we have to throw up the hill. This shot, I mean technically the shot is kind of a backhand hyzer flip anyways. It's not good at it, so I just don't feel encouraged. But I'm gonna try and throw my pure. Let's get it to flip up and land flat out of the gap. Nope. Hold it. Ah. That is gonna be not fun to deal with. I'm gonna try to go forehand hyzer. Oh, I didn't 
flip it. Ow. Okay. That'll be interesting. At least your, well, your punch out will be pretty straightforward. <laughs> Get out of there. Wow. Uh, it's still not, not great, but at least it got out. That was a beautiful kick. Wow. This might as well be a diamond only round. Yeah, it's pretty much diamond only round. It's gonna go huge up there on Heiser. It'll flip. You know this to be true. Your, that Heiser putt looks real good, though. Yeah, Something about a Heiser putt. It's moving off the hole so like fast, I'd miss a lot. Gotcha. Like it's a bogey. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you've probably seen us play a game called Ripped Revenge. We play it all the time on our channel. It'll spice up your disc golf round. It's a great card game to use. Well, we've got an exciting new release coming out. It is the Ripped Revenge Evolution pack here, Series 1. These are going to be random there's a bunch of different cards you can get and it's going to be more of a deck building game so it's a new twist on the ripped revenge game that we've played before you're going to be able to buy these packs see what you can get there's rare cards common cards all kinds of different cards and you build your deck in order to compete against your friends so you're going to be hunting you're going to, want to be hunting for those awesome rare cards so you can abuse your friends and just have way better deck than them check them out on foundationdisc.com so now we're at hole 16 it's par 3 429 typically a flex forehand is the play here you can throw a backhand. It's just very hard to get a disc to flip as late as you need it to. Hunter has a good late flip disc. I'm going to go with my sheriff and just see what the heck happens here. This is just going to be a Sherry. It's going to be a very curious study. What'd you call it? Sherry? Yeah, Sherry. That's fun. Sherry. Oh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> wow. What the crap? Oh, oh my gosh! Game. That is the luckiest shot of all time. Holy crap! I literally luckiest was like, I stopped paying attention because I thought for sure it was 600 feet that to the left. Literally, okay. It's, it's gonna, literally it, on the pole. So it poked through the left, just got super lucky, and then it flipped. Like I figured it would flip, but it flipped late and then got to the basket. And then not only that, it was about to land at like circle's edge, and it hit a tree and kicked right underneath the basket. That is the most. Oh, that's sick. That, that is crazy. Shot. I don't think I've ever thrown a shot luckier than that. Before. I think that's the luckiest shot I've ever seen. That is ridiculous. I wouldn't dare talk about luck. Yeah, I mean, that was low hanging fruit. Hunter might actually just do it. Get through the right. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. gosh. Oh my God. Holy crap. Okay, so Hunter just did it the correct way. But I'm like 30 feet farther than Trevor. <laughs> but it looked a lot cooler. Do it. That sucks. Do it. Hole 17, par 4, 690 feet. This one is tough. Doesn't really matter what angle you throw this drive on. You're just trying to get straight down that gap as far as you can. I'm going to try this uh, newly discovered flippy disc that I have, this Champion Destroyer that flies like a Shrike. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfectly set up, middle of the fairway. Dang it. Oh, so close to. Ooh. Dang. Just gotta try and crush a Heiser flip forehand now. Get right. Get both. Okay, didn't flip up all the way, but that's okay. I made a lot of progress. Summon Hunter's trees are 90% air witchcraft powers. There's space up there. I'm gonna try and hyzer it up there and see what happens. Nope. Almost. 
doesn't work for me. You weren't the chosen one. Better than a pitch out. Better than a pitch out. Ooh. Okay, here we are, hole 18. Par four, 849 feet. Typically I would go for a hyzer flip to turn play anyways, just kind of a max distance shot, so nothing's really changing there. Maybe the part that will change with it, it actually works. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, oh, oh, that's a bird. <laughs> that was my disc. Pretty close to declaring that disc like useless for that kind of shot, because that was as much hyzer as I can pretty much give it, and it still rolled. Oh, my Zeus here. I needed to throw the champ destroyer. Names. Ah. Don't cut roll. Right behind that stupid tree. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that was. This kind of came out a little faster than I thought it would. I was kind of just hoping to land somewhere where I'd have a gap through that tree line. Of course. How typical is that? Like, I know it was uphill and the hill slopes that way, but I did the same thing on hole seven, different video, and it flipped. So what is happening? That disc is getting the fraud label very fast. No, I. Whew, almost made it. Need more hazard. Game of the game. I got one that's close now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, look at it coming back. It all comes back. It's a rethrow in the rule books. We gotta get Hunter out of this course fast. Turns out the only reason I like sports is if I win, which yeah. just makes you set here's, up for miserable days. Here's the thing, basically what I've discovered with Hunter is like he's down to be like, if he has like one bad day, or like one bad round or whatever, a bad video. He's okay to be like dramatically funny, I suck, blah, blah, blah. The when the second one happens right after it, that's when it turns into like, I'm a dead corpse. And like, I hate my life, Hunter. And that's a different breed. And we all get there at some point or another. Like, I'm the same way. But now two of those in a row today, because we filmed another one earlier. That's been tough for him. We'll see you next time. God, ow. <laughs> Keep that in, please. Let's try another one. We'll see you next time.